Hi, this is Saksham and welcome back to this brand new video in which we are going to prepare our machine. That means we are going to update and upgrade our machine and then we are going to host a simple web page on Apache server. So this is what we are going to do in this video. If you have missed my previous video in which I have uh, taken you through how you can just go ahead and sign up to the Google Cloud platform and how you can host your Ubuntu machine, go ahead and watch it. So before any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we proceed further, let's go ahead into the settings. You can see that you can change the font size and you can also change the font family. So for a better visibility, I'm going to change it to large and I'm going to resize it a little bit so that it could look great onto the screen. Right, looks cool. So the first thing that I'm going to do in here uh, that first of all, I'm going to log in as a root user. For that, you're going to write here as sudo su and this will make you the root user. And after you are done uh, becoming the root user, you can just update and upgrade your machine first of all. That's the clean and the best practice to get started with any Linux machine. So you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna go for apt update. And this will take few seconds and this will just update our system. And see, it is updated within few seconds and all of these things are, uh, you know, uh, done very quickly, very swiftly in here. After we are done with updating our machine, what we are going to do is that we are just going to upgrade our machine, which is also a very good idea. Uh, though you can just go ahead and uh, go for the list upgrade as well. That is going to install the external upgradable packages as well. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to update it and upgrade it. So it is getting upgraded in front of you. And this will also take few seconds only. Okay, seems like our machine is updated and upgraded, which means we are all good to go and get started with our work. So now I'm going to install the Apache server. And in order to install the Apache server, you need to hit this command that says apt install Apache2. And when you'll hit enter, then you can see that it will ask me for the permission that if I, uh, how much space I'm going to use while, uh, you know, installing the Apache and I'm going to go for uh, capital Y to continue it. And then you can see that uh, Apache 2 is coming up in our system right here. Okay, so seems like Apache 2 is right inside our GCP's Ubuntu OS. Now, we what we are going to do is that we are going to start the Apache services. So in order to start the Apache services, you got to have to write here as service Apache to start. Now, this will start your Apache services. We can also check that. Uh, we can just go ahead into our uh, Google Cloud console and you can see that you can select, uh, you know, I have two uh, instances running over here. Right now I'm working on YouTube demo. So what you're going to do is that you're going to select this instance and you will see the permission on to the right hand side, permission labels and monitoring, uh, which will give you some external information as well that are good to go. You can just go ahead and, you know, explore them later on. But right now we were looking to see if our Apache service are up and running or not for that you gotta have to make the access of the external IP so uh, when you will just check out this external IP uh, then you'll see that our Apache to Ubuntu default page is showing up right in front of you so Apache is basically running on your private IP address as you can see it right here in some of the cases uh, you know by default it is going to take 443 port and it is hosted on port 80 so make sure you just go ahead and write this IP address and hit a colon and then you hit the port 80 so this will take you to the Apache server that is hosted on your public IP address now what we are going to do is that we are going to make some changes now we are going to go into uh, the directory that is also being suggested by Apache 2 and this is the directory where all of your index.html file uh, are put together to host them on the public IP address so it is going to be where www.html and index.html so this is the directory and this is the by default directory in Ubuntu so I'm going to go here and uh, I can do the both of these things firstly I'll show you that where actually these directories are right so so let me just put it together so you can travel from one directory to another with simple command that says cd and then i'm going to show you that where exactly this file is when you'll go into the cd var and when you'll try to ls then you can see that you have www directory here and inside the www directory you can just go ahead and uh, 
go uh, and check out the www directory inside there when you'll go to ls uh, then you'll see that you have a html folder here you can go inside the html folder as well and then you'll see that you'll uh, you'll have this index.html file in here right so this is the file and we can uh, pretty much easily copy this file we can uh, easily make changes to this file and basically this file is the file that is being hosted on your public ip address so this index.html page is this one right so we can also make some changes in here right uh, so let me go with the simple uh, echo command that will uh, replace the current html code in here so for that you're just gonna go with echo and then in inverted commas i can say that batman is online in gotham city again right and i can also uh, you know go ahead and try to uh, bring some uh, more things in here for example i can say i can say i can get an ip address as well right so i can get the ip address with a simple uh, dollar sign and in the parentheses i can write any command for example i can write if config right so and then i'm going to close down the parentheses and then i am going to replace the content that is situated inside your where directory and then when you'll go inside www directory and then html direct and inside the html directory you have this file that says index dot html right so uh, the changes are being made inside this html file so when i'll just go ahead and uh, when i'll just reload this and let me just zoom it out a little bit so you can just see the information in here so you can see that batman is online on gotham city is right here and you can also see the command that i have written in here in the parentheses followed by dollar sign that says ip address so you can see that my inet ip address is this one netmask is this and all the information that you see inside the terminal when you write if config is shown right here so this was a very simple video in which we have explored that how you can just uh, make a web page and can make it active with the help of apache server and that machine is being hosted onto the cloud which is really amazing out there but into the upcoming videos we are going to go ahead and make a very deep dive in gcp but that's it for this video i'll see you again tomorrow with another video thank you so much for joining and yes one more thing if you are jumping on this channel for the first time don't forget to hit subscribe and press the bell icon button and hit the thumbs up button so that i'll be motivated in creating more videos so that's it for today i'll see you again tomorrow